Hello, this is Hope Roski with Business Arts and Events. Well, are you looking for something fun to do every third Thursday of the month? If you are, you need to check out Oakhurst Art and Wine Hop. It is absolutely amazing. And here today we have Gina Mims coming in to talk to us about the hop. So how are you doing, Gina? I'm good. Thank you for having me. Oh, I am so glad that we're having this discussion because you know, um, people like the Fresno um, Art Hop, but Oakhurst is not that far from the valley here and much cooler climate. So let's hear what's going on at your Art and Wine Hop up in Oakhurst. So our Art and Wine Hop is kind of different than Fresno's because it's just along the 41, which is fun. It's the third Thursday from five to eight and people can either take the trolley, and um, the trolley is free, it's sponsored by the Visitor Center, and you hop from place to place. So it's the Visitor Center, you have so many wine tales, and then Bodies by Boyd. There's, uh, I don't know if you've been up here to Yosemite Gateway Art Center, that's a really fun, there's um, four different galleries there. And right now there's the um, Sierra Art Trails preview exhibit, and there's over 60 different artists in that show alone. Wow, so, that's, that's, that is definitely impressive. So where do people park exactly? Where would the best, if they're taking the trolley, where would they need to park? Um, the visitor center is a good place to park because they've got parking there, but you can also park um, at the uh, Gateway Art Center is a good place as well. But the, you can pretty much pick up the trolley anywhere or follow the map. There is a map. Um, kind of has, you know, along where you can go and then you just kind of loop around and pick and choose what you want. And that's all on the website. And then each time there are different artists. There's also different wineries each month. And um, each time we try to make it a little bit different. So there's food trucks, um, pop-ups and those, like Ellen J Tacos, they make these delicious carne asada tacos. And those are, have been here every month. So those aren't going away. But like last month, we had Havana um, food truck. We had uh, tra Tater Joe's, which is a fun, you know, pop up. Uh, you know, somebody pizza. So there's different wineries, different food, and then obviously we try to rotate the artists. Some move to different places, but some also are just brand new. So we've got over like 15 different new artists this time, at, plus the 60 who are showing for the. Uh, preview exhibit. And all different sorts of art medium um, throughout the hop. So you're not going to just see the same type of art. You're going to see all different forms of art and medium, correct? Definitely. Yes. There's definitely a variety. But the nice thing is you only have to go to like seven different locations to see so many places. And it's all within like a mile and a half, two miles. Oh, that's so fabulous. That's great. And then how often is that trolley running? So if people want to stay longer, shorter, is there a certain? That is the tricky part, um, but it, it does work nicely. The trolley is every about 35, 40 minutes. Oh, which okay. Is enough time to kind of sit and look mm -hmm. at art. But at the same time, you're only going to see about five out of the seven. So you kind of have to pick and choose a little oh, bit. Okay. <laughs> Well, that means they'll have to, you know, maybe can make another trip up. It sounds like such a wonderful yeah. time, you know, well, just to be able to go and do that. Yeah. And the fun thing is we made, so you'll get a, for the tasting, I don't know if you can see this. Yes. A keepsake art and wine hop glass. Oh, so that's fabulous. $20. And that gives you tastings at each place. And then if you want to come back the next month, you bring your glass. And for only $10, you get to do it again. So, oh, isn't that, that's, hey, I think that's absolutely clever. So it's basically 10, so it's, for the refill, it's 10, but to buy the glass initially, it's, it's 20, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, terrific, terrific. So tell me a little bit more about the Sierra Art event that you have coming up in October, because that's more of a weekend versus the third Thursday. Correct. So I'm going to, do one more thing just for the so i don't forget to mention this and that's um if anybody does want to kind of come and spend the weekend 
on the website there's a stay and pay stay and play page that has like hotel discounts um for the third thursday and other things to do if they want to make it a weekend of art, yes um definitely check that out and then sierra art trails is kind of the super bowl of our art you know season we have six months for the art in my home and then the first two weekends in october are sierra art trails and what you'll do for that is you get a handy dandy little catalog and that's for $25, it admits two people, and you can kind of go through, look at the map, see where you want to go, and kind of, again, you know, whoops, upside down. <laughs> <laughs> but you're driving yourself for that one. Okay. And with over 65, I think there's 67 artists this year, there's no way you're gonna see all of them in one day, obviously. So to be able to go through the um, preview exhibit, you're going to kind of be able to see one of every artist and see, you sure. know, if you like painting or photography or sculpture and pick where you want to go. And then the nice thing about that is, you know, maybe stay overnight or, you know, make a weekend of it and do it, you know, in a couple of different days. It's also two weekends. So a lot of people will, you know, you know, stay, look at art, go to Yosemite, come and, you know, see some art the next day. So it's, it's a good adventure, you know, as far as things to do. And then the, I think if you're going to do it, um, on that second weekend, there's a fall festival. And so I love it up here during fall, you know, the, the weather's nice, the leaves are just starting to turn and the fall festival, if you have your art trails catalog, you get into the fall festival for free. And that's, you know, rides, games, beer, wine, you know, what do you think of a festival, live music, all that. So how, what is the best way if people want to really research this, what's the best website for them to, to look, look you up? So if you're doing art hop, it's Oakhurst arthop.com. Okay. If you want to do Sierra Art Trails, it's sierraarttrails.org. And then on the Art Hop website, I actually have Sierra Art links to um, all of it and the Stay and Pay page. Stay and Play. That's hard to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that, you know, it's kind of all encompassing for art. And then I also have my little gallery here. So um, I am kind of a hub of all things art in this community anymore. I don't know how that happened. The but. gallery Oakhurst Spirits. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, yeah. I think, Gina, that, you know, if people will, it, we're, we're only talking maybe 30 minutes from the valley, but what a great way to spend a third Thursday or upcoming with the fall festival. Like you said, the leaves are changing to really embrace art. And um, also for those who are wine connoisseurs on that art hop, you know, to get that glass and because there's only a couple more months left of the art hop. So they need to take advantage of that. And I would say the best place to the cheater, the cheater is to start at um, Yosemite Wine Tales to get your, there's only three places to get your glass. Yosemite Wine Tales is a good place to get your glass as a start of the, the loop. So that's just an inside scoop for you guys to know. Okay. Well, I, I appreciate all of the information. And Gina, I hope we can have you back again on the show. It's been a pleasure. Again, Oakhurst Art and Wine Hop, third Thursday of the month. And don't forget about the Sierra Fall Festival that's coming up. We really appreciate you being a part of the show. This is Hope Roski with Business Arts and Events. Thank you.